In today's video, I'm going to talk about running goals. Running a race is not easy and I need a focus in my training and I need a focus in the race. As uh, somebody said, when you're training for a marathon, there is 80% uh, of the training is physical and 20% mental, but that flips during the race where 80% is mental and 20% is physical. And certainly with a marathon coming up in three weeks time, yeah, it's concentrating on the mental side is really important to me and the goal setting. Um, various people use an acronym SMART for goals and ASIC certainly print this on their website. They are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time limited. And the specific refers to the fact that it can't just be I want to run faster. There's I want to run a set distance in a set time. I might want to run a 5k in 20 minutes, that kind of thing. They need to be measurable so that you can measure them now. Usually in a race, particularly in a marathon, you'll have a chip and there'll be a certain distance and so it is measurable but also you might have a watch, you might have a various different types of measuring devices. They need to be attainable, much as I would like to say I'd like to win the Berlin Marathon, it's probably not attainable and uh, whereas for Elliot Kipchoge that is an attainable goal and they need to be relevant, they need to be relevant Pretty similar to attainable. They need to be relevant to me, relevant to my set of goals and they need to be time limited. Like I might want to run a 20k, 5k or 20 minute 5k within the next year. That kind of thing is uh, the time limited. It's important to me to also grade my goals. So typically going to race I'll have three goals. I'll have a major goal, a minor goal and a sort of minimum sort of goal and so when I started running marathons the first one I wanted was I wanted a finish that was the first goal and then the next goal would be to run a sub four hour uh, marathon I then wanted a goal of not walking at all during the marathon I hit so I, I got sub four a couple of times but still did a bit of walking I then would possibly have a personal best and then a Boston qualifying and those five it would vary from race to race but that would be the sort of pecking order for me but of course goals it's not just a single goal for the race but it might be grouped so last year i did four marathons and i had pretty much the same objective early on in all of them uh, i wanted to finish i wanted to do sub four maybe hit a personal best and i did that in uh, buckeye arizona the first marathon of the year and then i worked my way through boston i was kind of hoping maybe to do a boston qualifying i didn't i uh, pretty much equaled my personal best but i kind of didn't have that mental capacity at the end. And then the last race of the year was the virtual New York Marathon when I just wanted to run. Uh, I traveled down to a part of Ireland, ran it and came back the same day in the train. And I just wanted to run it for the sheer enjoyment of running it. But yeah, there's always grades. And then for 2023, the grouping was gonna be. So I did, uh, I did a five hour marathon. I was deliberately trying to go slowly and just have fun in the virtual New York marathon. And so I decided this year, 2023, to do three marathons. I thought, well, I happened to be at a conference in Antwerp. So I thought I'd run Rotterdam early in the year. Then I was gonna run the Jack and Jill marathon in Washington state in the United States in three weeks time from now. And then I was gonna run, or I'm going to run the New York City marathon in November. And my plan had been, to use the Rotterdam Marathon to get back to the swing of running a fast marathon, to try and qualify for Boston in the middle of the year in the Jack and Jill Marathon, and then to uh, enjoy running the New York City Marathon, hopefully with some of you in November. And I also wanted to film that, and I wanted to get better at filming that. And that sort of brings back the next point, which your goals need to be adaptable. They need to be adaptable, I think, over the year, um, so for instance, I have a bad back, so I ain't going to be qualifying for Boston in the next run. But luckily enough, I did that in the last one. So, so I have to adapt my goals as I go along, but you also have to adapt during the race. So, um, sometimes I watch a lot of cycling and cyclists are always talking about how one day they had good legs and you're thinking they're trained within an inch of their lives. And how come some days they have good legs? Some days they don't, who knows, but I certainly I'm the same. There's some runs. Certainly Rotterdam where I felt I had good legs and I could push it on. Another kind of goal that I had, a, a, a kind of phrase, a mantra I had years ago, um, was I wanted to metronome home. In other words, I want to take whatever pace I had and keep going at that pace, sustain that pace throughout the race, which again, I was lucky enough to manage to do that in Rotterdam. I was looking at a quote by Frank Shorter, who was a brilliant marathon runner, and his goal was to slow down as slowly as possible. 
simple. That was his. That was his goal, and I, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like that is a, a really good goal, kind of analogous to my metronome home. Set a set a pace and keep going at it. The number one goal when I'm running a marathon is to enjoy it. A lot of marathons you enjoy in hindsight. Certainly um, Chicago, that happened to me where the second half or certainly the last third was, was really, really tough. <laughs> you run along, you say, never again, never again, cross the finish line, signed up for another two marathons that day. So yeah, it can't have been that bad. But one of the things I tried last year was to enjoy the marathon when I was actually in it. So in the virtual New York City marathon where I ran across in the middle of Ireland, that was incredibly enjoyable. I stopped, I didn't put any pressure on myself. I petted some dogs, I made some pieces to camera. I generally just went and stopped when I felt like it. And that was really important. And it's something I'm gonna focus on in the next marathon. The training has gone well in terms of, I've got back, I ran a half marathon yesterday without any bother. So I think I can run the marathon, it should be okay. I've still got a lot of back pain, but that's largely when I'm sitting and I won't be sitting in the marathon. So. Yeah, it's the Jack and Jill Marathon in uh, Washington State. It's supposed to be really, really beautiful. And I'm going to do one thing is to try and enjoy it as I go along and to use a phrase to see the wood for the trees. See you next week. Thanks for all your support.